everybody, uh, we're trying a bit of a different format today. I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes of the garage slash studio setup that I record the nonprofit filmmaker in. I'm just gonna go over all the equipment and why I have it set up the way I do, sort of department by department. So let's start with lighting. Oops, forgot to plug it in. Actually, uh, please ignore my janky outlet. All right, so this is the Godox VL300 CLED. And it's in a gridded nice photo parabolic softbox. It's a daylight balanced light and it's my key light. Next is the side kicker light. Uh, it's a newer 960 LED bicolor panel set more in the 4000 Kelvin range. Then as a hair light, I have a newer 660 LED bicolor panel up on a Matthews C stand behind me. And on the backdrop itself, I have the other newer 660 panel with a pair of gels on it. Uh, it's got a quarter minus green and a quarter CTO on it to give a sort of off red glow to the black backdrop. Okay, let's talk about sound. So I've got this amazing LixPro telescoping boom stand. Seriously, the best boom off you could ever hire. And it's got this amazing Sennheiser MKE 600 on the end that records beautiful sounding audio. And the XLR is going direct into camera this time because the camera has amazing preamps to it and it gets really clean audio signals. Then as a backup, I have this wireless XSWD kit for a lav mic. So if anything goes wrong with the main audio, I have the lav mic. All right, next, sound blankets. Because this is a garage, it's terrible for audio, very slappy. So I have a sound blanket on two of the walls and one on the floor. All right, next is the all important backdrop. It's on a newer stand with a bar going across the top and it's just a 15 foot by 10 foot cloth psych wall. I always use my handy mini steamer to get all the wrinkles out of this thing before I film on it. And it's stabilized by a bunch of sandbags. In fact, a lot of the set has sandbags. All right, really quick about this camera because it could have its own episode, honestly. This is the Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K. It's an awesome cinema camera. It's got the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 lens with a mini teleprompter on it and a video assist monitor on top so I can check my focus and composition. And of course, no set would be complete without a bunch of haze. I'm using a water-based haze by Chauvet. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And the Hurricane Hazer. It's so great and the haze lasts forever. I've been using the same bottle for six months, shooting like twice a week and it's still over half full. Okay, so basically haze just softens and helps the lights wrap around better. It creates more depth, sort of like atmospheric distortion, you know, which helps bring focus to the subject. And overall, it's just that last 1% to get the image that much more cinematic. Of course, all this equipment means big piles of bags and cases. If all I did was studio shoot, I might not even need any of these, but I have them all for traveling and doing shoots outside of the house too. All right, well, that's the equipment. I hope that helps. Uh, I didn't get a time lapse of the setup, but I did of the takedown, which usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour. So hopefully that will be informative. Enjoy. And uh, if you like this format, if you want some more BTS, let us know in the comments below, and I will see you all on the next one.